Days after Hurricane Irma ravished most of the Caribbean and the Florida Keys, Global Empowerment Mission was already on the ground in the Leeward Islands, assessing damage and delivering aid. After Hurricane Maria hit the Caribbean a second time and completely destroyed Dominica, the entire Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico, we realized that we were faced with one of the biggest natural disasters in history right in our very own backyards. We joined forces with another nonprofit specializing in logistics and third wave volunteers, our Haiti allies since the Haiti earthquake in 2010. Together we managed the local collections warehouse in Mana Wynwood, Miami, where a few million pounds of aid was collected locally. This aid was sent to Puerto Rico in over 55 donated planes from our collective networks. Okay, we have a warehouse here in Manor Windward being donated, and all the organizations, all the grassroots groups were all working together to get this aid to Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Dominica, and all over, wherever the aid is needed. Already, this was an overwhelming task. But what we were faced with was how to really solve the problem. There was just millions and millions of people all throughout the Caribbean that needed help, and there weren't enough resources. During this time, we realized that many great American cities had also done local drives, and there were tens of millions of pounds of aid just sitting around everywhere in convention centers, churches, and schools throughout our country. We were blessed to partner with Bethany Frankel, and we created an initiative called Be Strong Global Better which is our group name for this endeavor. With the help of Bethany's enormous public outreach through social media and television interviews, we let America know that we would take on the responsibility to get this aid properly delivered into the right hands. These are all containers. They're like school bus size, and there are many more to come. This is take inside. We knew that we were faced now with the greatest responsibilities in all our lives. Getting over 10 million pounds of aid brought to towns that were forgotten. In early October, our mission grew exponentially and the operations moved to Magic City in Miami. They donated a warehouse over 60,000 square feet to Global Empowerment Mission. This warehouse gave us the ability to collect aid from all throughout the United States. Uno de los centros de acopio que que recibe pues toda la mercancía que vamos a enviar a Puerto Rico en este momento. Está buenísimo porque la la noticia es que tenemos ahora una sociedad con todas las estaciones de de bomberos de de la ciudad donde están de acuerdo en que van a a usar cada una de esas estaciones para recibir y luego vamos nosotros a buscarlas de, directamente hacia allá o ellos vienen y la traen pero se pueden usar todas las estaciones para donar 90 percent of the homes gone the schools the hospitals the anything you can think of the forest the wildlife we've been down to see us blue so don't take a while to come back so any sort of support we can get you know any no matter how small it is we're not here directing and commanding we're open and we because the next season is not too far from now, and the next season has already been predicted as a very vigorous one, and the following one is a very serious one as well too. If we're dealing with a catastrophic situation, the public really needs to know that in order for the public to really support the effort. They're going to need a lot of long-term support. So, you know, we've been on the ground from, from the beginning. We've done intel, we've traveled the whole country, and we know, I mean, this intel changes daily, okay, and it still will. These maps and everything will change daily because it changes, like suddenly there'll be a rain and there'll be a, a landslide or whatever. Working with the Yo No Mi Quito Foundation on the ground, uh, who are amazing, they've been all over the place, they know the vulnerable areas, they have the trucks, they have a really good system in place, and it's like they're really getting this stuff together and really getting the aid to people, people are trusting them. First time they get food, um, they got some water donated, but it would taste like bleach, so they haven't drink water either. So we came at the right time, at the right moment, and thank you to you guys in Miami for donating. We're going to continue bringing the planes to Puerto Rico. We're riding a Challenger 
5604. With 5,000 pounds of relief supplies. 5,000 pounds. And where are we going? Puerto Rico. Puerto Hola a todos, como pueden ver, estoy aquí, llegué al aeropuerto Isla Grande y estamos trayendo unos suministros para el alcalde de Ciales y el alcalde de Manatí que le pidieron ayuda, ¿verdad?, a Global Empowerment Mission. Eh, ellos van a hacer, ¿verdad?, gran parte de lo que traerá. A lot of people don't know, actually, is that the USVI actually went through two Category 5 storms as well. We've got some grassroots organizations and they're hitting the ground running and they've been involved from the get-go. Small planes that are going in that might not be able to get in otherwise, so they're wanting to help out wherever they can. Okay, what are we doing today? What haven't we done today? So we basically had an hour and a half to pack those two trucks and take them to the lane. And I have to say thank you to everybody that contributed to this. We got it done, almost like Mission Impossible. And here we are, we're getting to the plane. group of people it's an it's an underground network none no one that I had ever met before a week and a half ago which is the most outrageous thing it's not it's there's a group called global empowerment mission uh, if you want to do something you find the people that want to do something also all the kids are getting their toys they're super excited look at them they're happy